Welcome to our video. Belarus urges truce as Putin's closest ally calls for war to end. I would like to focus on the Newsweek report dated March 31, 2023. Belarus urges truce as Putin's closest ally calls for war to end. By Isabel Van Bruggen. Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko has called for a truce in the full-scale invasion launched by his Russian counterpart against Ukraine in February 2022. Lukashenko urged that Ukraine and Russia begin talks without preconditions. We must stop now before an escalation begins. I'll take the risk of suggesting an end of hostilities, a declaration of a truce, he said during an address to the nation on Friday. While Belarus, a loyal Kremlin ally, hasn't directly joined the Ukraine conflict, Russian troops have been allowed to do exercises on Belarusian territory since before the beginning of the war. The country was used by Russia to launch its invasion of Ukraine on February 24, 2022. Last month Lukashenko invited Russian President Vladimir Putin and U.S. President Joe Biden to attend a summit in Minsk to stop the war in Ukraine and to prevent further loss of life. All territorial reconstruction, security and other issues can and should be settled at the negotiation table, without preconditions, he said on Friday. The Belarusian leader lashed out at nations who have provided weapons to assist Kyiv in the war. As a result of the efforts of the United States and its satellites, a full-scale war has been unleashed in Ukraine, a third world war with nuclear fires looms on the horizon, he said. I will try to risk proposing to stop the hostilities. To declare a truce without the right to move, without the right to move weapons and ammunition, manpower and equipment. For everybody just to freeze. Lukashenko warned that Russia felt threatened, it could use the most terrible weapon. It is impossible to defeat a nuclear power. If the Russian leadership understands that the situation threatens to cause Russia's disintegration, it will use the most terrible weapon he said. This cannot be allowed. On March 25, Putin announced that Russia would station nuclear weapons in Belarus, and said the move would not violate non-proliferation agreements. Alexei Danilov, the head of Ukraine's National Security Council, responded by saying that Putin has taken Belarus as a nuclear hostage. Russia is contributing towards internal destabilization in Belarus, Danilov said on Twitter. The U.S. has said it has not seen any reason to adjust our own strategic nuclear posture. A senior administration official said there were no indications Russia is preparing to use a nuclear weapon. Newsweek reached out to the foreign ministries of Ukraine and Russia via email for comment. Do you have a tip on a world news story that Newsweek should be covering? Do you have a question about the Russia-Ukraine war? Let us know via worldnews at newsweek.com. Update March 31, 2023, 8.30 a.m. ET. This article was updated with additional information.